So you're trying to uh, use the change of address tool. At this point, you've uh, mapped out all of the domain's 301 redirects. Uh, that includes all of the canonicalized pages. Um, you've got both of the properties, the uh, old domain and the new domain. For example, tillycompany.com is being redirected or updated to tillydistribution.com. Both of those domains are verified in Google Search Console. Uh, at this point, you're going to use the change of address tool to tell Google that A is now B. Um, and it's pretty quick. It's pretty easy. Uh, we're using a side uh, friend of the friend of the friend's uh, properties to do it. Uh, Keen Minds is the old domain. This is going to be pointed to a new domain, uh, keentechnicalsolutions.com. And we're just going to validate uh, and update. The validation is passed. Uh, one of the cool things that it shows is uh, it will identify specific pages that are redirects. This is at the domain level. Depending on how many exact matches you have in these slugs, it may actually populate a dozen or so pages in here. Uh, and also validate for both sites. And this just makes sure that uh, it has uh, admin access uh, permissions at both of these domains. And it is that easy. Uh, it will also show this warning. Uh, this will show up for about 180 days. Uh, and then both, the, both of these properties will continue to be, uh, you know, you can treat them essentially as the same thing in Google Search Console for that amount of time after that. Uh, the old domain won't show up as an individual property anymore. Um, one of the neat things that is that if you have anything set up for uh, Looker Studio or anything like that, all of the settings stay the same. Uh, the only thing that you'll have to update in 180 days is making sure you're pulling from this property rather than the old one. Um, so you'll just have to change your data source uh, in reports. Uh, otherwise, numbers will look pretty cap, uh, pretty crappy. Uh, and that's it. Okay, bye.